Man, Wilson, it's like I've been jamming this whole time to a lot of different earbuds and it's, I've been getting my jam on. You know how hard I get my jam on. It's like epic, you know what I'm saying? But this whole time, like now I feel like I've been living a lie the whole time. I've been like, like lying to my ears the whole time. Guys, I, my whole life is a lie now. The way I've been listening to music has been a lie because I have recently discovered the beautiful glory of Sennheiser and the glorious sound signature they shove right into your ear holes, man. These are not brand new, but they are new to me. This is the Sennheiser Momentum 2 True Wireless Earbuds and the Sennheiser CX True Wireless Earbuds. This is Little Brother and Big Brother. And <sighs> I don't know what else to tell you, man. They're just good, they sound good. But you know, their ad campaign for the uh, the CX says no compromises. And I, I, there's some truth to that. There's a whole lot of truth to that. <laughs> Once I start listing like some pros and cons or things that they don't have versus what they do have, you're gonna be like, okay, I, I get it. And then we have the Momentum 2 over here, man, that just kind of, this, this is the big boy. So I guess we'll start with the big boy first because these are older and then we'll move on to the uh, CX. So Wilson, if you don't mind, come down here just a little bit so I can show you some stuff. Sony, I need you to step aside for just a second, please, while I talk about these Momentums. All right, so the Momentums, they come in at $220. That is how much I paid for them out of my own pocket. All right, now these are regular size earbuds. Well, they might be just a tad bit just a slight bit larger than your average bud style earbud, but you know what? They're not big and they're not heavy. And I think this almost looks like an aluminum shell, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it's plastic. You might wanna correct me if you've looked at the specs, cause I'm not a spec guy because this is New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I really don't give a damn about specs because honestly, I think LDAC is highly overrated. Yes, I have listened to these Sony earbuds for a while now, and I really do like them. Don't get it twisted, but this is a different sound, man. It's not even the same class as the Sennheisers, okay? This is a very popular bass forward sound. And once you turn on LDAC, it just gets a little bit better. It's, it's not the mind blowing thing that everybody says it is. And that's just like, you know, how people get all excited about specs on paper. I, I'm just not that guy, man. Give, give me the real deal. Let me, let me experience it in the real world and I'll tell you what's up. So what's up is these right here. All right. So you are getting for $220, you're getting a really, really bright sound signature, super bright sound signature with the bass layered right exactly where it's supposed to be. It carries a wide range of thump too. Like the bass range on these things, they do flex. Ooh, -hoo. man, they, yeah, they jam hard. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later when I start talking about the EQ. Now inside of that $220 price tag, you are gonna get ambient sound and active noise cancellation. Now you can't tune in how much of it you want or don't want. It's just an on and off kind of feature but I will tell you it works pretty well. Let's start with the ambient sound first. The ambient sound, you are still gonna feel like you have the, um, like, you know, like that underwater effect. So it's not as crystal clear as I would want it to be, but you will be able to hear your surroundings mixed in with whatever you're listening to. Uh, as far as the ANC, the ANC is actually pretty good. It's, it's a solid ANC and I have no complaints there, even though you can't tune in how much of it you want. For me, I never really cared how much ANC I'm getting. I always, every time it's adjustable on a different set of earbuds, I always turn it up full blast. I feel like it's active noise cancellation. I just want it on, like put it all the way on. So I'm not, I'm not complaining about not being able to adjust it like you can with any other earbud. It does have a little sensor right here on each earbud for wearing detection. That means you can pull any of the earbuds out of your ear. It'll automatically pause the music. That way you can talk to that jackass who decided to talk to you and interrupt your jam session. And then when you put it back in your ears, it'll automatically start playing the music. As simplistic as this earbud looks, they give you full control over all of your stuff. Well, I'm talking single, double, triple taps and holds and everything. You can control everything, volume, tracks, play, pause, ambient sound, uh, voice assistant, all that stuff. So I really like the fact that within the app, you can customize that. It is fully customizable to give you everything as far as control. But a major downside for me is that there is no hot swapping, meaning that you cannot listen to the left earbud independently. If you take the right one out, you can go ahead and keep getting your jam on with that case closed, but you cannot do it the other way around. So you can't just go jamming. Hold up, man. You can't just go jamming with the left earbud, close that case, because at that point, your music is going to shut off. I, I'm, I'm 
not a fan of that. I like to have the hot swapping going on because sometimes I like to let one ear rest. That way I can keep on going about my day, take a phone call or something, and then just drop the earbud in there. And the last little bit of bad news is that there is no wireless charging on this case, which is kind of a sad story because it's a really nice case, man. I like the fabric on there. It's nice and compact. That way you can walk around with it in your pocket, but you will not be slapping this bad boy on a wireless charger because it just don't work like that. Now let's talk about the little brother here, the CX. The CX comes in at $130. And I'm gonna tell you, man, $130 is actually a really great price for earbuds. And the fact that they're able to make these things sound the way they do for $130 really, truly, pretty much just whoops every other earbuds ass in that price category. It's just hands down. I've heard a lot of them and I've heard a lot of sub 150, sub $200 earbuds. As a matter of fact, these are probably the best sub $200 earbuds you can possibly buy right now in the category of sound. I have to specify the category of sound because even though the ad slogan says no compromises, you do not get quite a few things that you will get with a lot of other earbuds that may not sound as good, but they offer you a little bit more for that price point. You don't get active noise cancellation, you don't get ambient sound, you don't get wearing detection, and you still don't get wireless charging built into the case. But this time around, they do give you the hot swapping feature, man. So that means you can take out one earbud, doesn't matter which one it is, left or right, close that case and continue to get your jam on. And just like their big brother, the Momentum 2, they're giving you app support. That means you're getting the EQ in here, as well as all that full customization uh, with the touch controls on there. So you're getting the full deal with these. Now, I currently have the Momentum 2s in my ear. Let me go ahead and turn on this ambient sound. They call it transparent hearing. Let's get in there so I can actually hear myself a little bit better. And then we're going to go up into the settings and then we'll go check out some stuff. So we got the smart pause on and off, active noise cancellation on and off. Uh, we have the auto accept call, and then we have the side tone. I really like side tone because as you're talking on the phone, you can actually hear a little bit of your ambient sound to make the phone call feel a little bit more natural for yourself. Now the earbud customization is what I really wanted to show you when I tapped into this section. So you can see right here, you got your play and pause, forward and back tracks, you got your transparent hearing, A and C, volume up and down. And if you press on this little pencil right there, you see you can edit it to your choice. So let's go back and then we'll get into some fun stuff. Now remember, the uh, um, the CX app is just like this one. It's just a little bit more stripped down. I won't go into that for the sake of time. They have the exact same EQ and that's what I really want to spend some time on, man. I've never actually worked with an EQ like this before. They have two pages of it. So this is the first page, which is what I'm going to call the guided EQ. We'll go into the, the standard EQ, which is no, nothing more. It's nothing special. It's just a three band EQ. You got your, your bass, your mids, and your treble there, right? And normal people, well, most people would kind of do something like this. You know, you have your mids or your ba bass right there, then your mids a little bit right. Oh, that's too high. Put your mids right there and put your treble all the way up. That way you can hear them drums and stuff, right? But if you go over here into this other page, you'll see that the little dot is here. Now this sound signature right here, this one doesn't suit me, it usually does. So what I like to do is move it right about there and that gives me a lot of trouble. But did you see what just happened to that curve right there? It automatically adjusted, let me go back so you can see this man, it automatically adjusted the mids and the bass. Man, that is so clutch. So right, right somewhere around that area is where I like to keep it, man. Both earbuds give you a tremendous amount of clarity. I'm talking clarity and beyond. Now, the Momentum 2 has a wider bass range and it's like a thundersome, powerful bass, but it's not so forward to where these are bass heavy earbuds. It's just like, it's almost like, like monitors, like mixed with I don't know, it's just a really great balance of sound. I, the clarity in these is just unreal. It's almost like an IEM, like a really, really good IEM. And then if you just kind of dial back the bass just a little bit, that's where you're gonna be with the CX. It's the same sound signature, lots and lots of clarity with plenty, plenty of bass, but you gotta choose the right ear tips, for real, man. Take some time to choose the right ear tips. Plenty of bass in here, but it's just not as wide of an array of bass as you would get the with, uh, with the Momentum 2. 
So just to give you a little call quality test, right now I'm using the Momentum 2. And this is what the call quality is going to be like. So I hope it's good because I haven't really heard it for myself just yet. I have to figure that out when I'm, while I'm editing. But I have taken some phone calls on both of these and the person on the other line had absolutely no complaints. And now you're getting a taste of what the CS call quality is like. So I hope that's pretty good because I really like both sets of earbuds. It just really depends on how much money you want to spend and whether you want A and C or not because that's the major difference between these two yeah the momentum comes with you know like the um the wearing detection and stuff like that but if you need hot swapping you might want to go with the cx by the way neither earbud comes with uh, the ability to be used on multiple devices at the same time you can only be connected to one device no matter which one of these you choose now i'm no expert in this kind of stuff but i do know a thing or two about getting my jam on and when it comes to sound, I gotta tell you, man, the, the Sony XM4, look, these are great earbuds. They are great. If you think about getting them and you need the, the, the best ANC in the market and you know some of these lifestyle features like the built-in Google Assistant, I say go for these because they're, they're great earbuds and they sound fantastic until the Sennheiser show up, okay? It's kind of like that situation. Remember the, the Chrysler Phantom? You remember when people were getting the Phantom and they were like, oh man, that's that's nice, man. That's a nice car. Did you get a Phantom? Man, that looked just like a Phantom. And then the Phantom drives by and you're like, oh shit, that's, that's not a Phantom. <laughs> that's what this is like, man. The Sony sound good, man, but it's in a, it, look, these are in another class, man. The Sony's in a, in a lower class when it comes to sound quality. And that's why I'm not all into the LDAC and stuff like that. I think that stuff is highly overrated. The specs mean absolutely nothing to me, man. Just give me the real world situation. And in the real world, these Sennheisers just beat the crap out of these Sony. So I'm gonna put them to the side and tell you that if you want the, just, I ain't gonna say the best, cause I, I got something coming up, man. I got some more stuff coming out here. But if you want one of the absolute best sounding earbuds, you cannot go wrong choosing either one of these, man. One has more features than the other. The other one's at a very competitive price. It, the, these Sennheiser CXs are blowing out everything under $200, man. Goodbye right here. Now I'm about to get out of here, man. So that means you gotta go too, cause I don't want you hanging out in here touching on all my stuff. Now y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?